guys, it's Nadia from Lee Idea Designs and we're back with a fun project today. Um, I have these poker chips actually that I stole from my husband, but, um, and I wanted to see if I can make uh, little coasters with them. So um, I found, I have these molds. They're a little, they're a little bit smaller than the typical coaster molds. They're about two and a half inches compared to four and a half or four to four and a half inches of the normal coaster molds. And I usually use these for samples, but in this case, I thought that they'd be perfect for these, um, this little project. And my husband actually said he preferred this size in compared to the larger ones. Must be a guy thing. I don't know. But in any case, um, so we start off with our silicone molds and we fill them about halfway with um, the mixed up resin. And again, I use a one-to-one -one resin. So I mix that up and I fill them halfway. And the reason for that is so that we can um, set the poker chips inside, but then leave room because I want to add a background color to these once they've kind of set up. So, um, so the first thing I do is I pour in the resin. I had a little bit too much extra in this one. So I removed it and then, um, and then, yeah, just use the heat gun to blow out the bubbles. And um, once we get all that sorted out, then we will add the poker chips. Okay, so once we get our bubbles all removed from our resin, we're going to um, place our poker chips inside. So um, I just, there wasn't any rhyme or reason for the colors or the numbers, the values of the poker chips. I just kind of picked what I thought looked nice together. And so we press the first one down flat. So this way we try to remove any bubbles that might get captured underneath the first chip. And then the second one, we just kind of place it and then um, again, just kind of move it around a bit to kind of push out any bubbles that might be getting trapped underneath. Um, and then again, the same with the rest. So I was checking the bottoms to see if I could position them in a certain way to make sure that they weren't both kind of, um, sitting with the numbers sitting in the same direction. So, um, that's just me. And, um, you know, I'm always looking for little details like that. But in any case, there's, again, there's no right or wrong here. We're just trying to place them in, um, in any order that you like. You probably could even get three in these molds, but um, I like the look of the two. So I placed two in and then um, left those to set. And um, yeah, I just took my heat gun one more time after this to, um, again, just any bubbles that may have surfaced because of of placing in the chips. I add, I just wanted to get rid of those at the same time. So um, once we did that, I just took the heat gun, got those bubbles out, and then I let it um, sit for about four or five hours to um, to kind of to get about halfway cured or at least solid enough that I could pour the next layer on top. Okay, so this is about four hours later and I mixed up some green pigment. Um, so I separated my resin into two um, sections. So I have just a kind of a custom green that I mixed probably about four different pigments in to get this color. And um, so I poured that into two. And again, it wasn't very much. I only needed probably about not even a full ounce in each of these. And I think I overfilled them. You'll see probably at the end of the video that uh, they were... Um, a little bit over full but and then the second color was actually just more glitter because I wanted to have a couple of them um, with a glitter background just to see the difference um, and of course you guys know me I love my glitter so no project is complete without a little bit in there so um, yeah so I added those in and then uh, once that was um, sorted out then I just again used my heat gun to try to get rid of any of the bubbles and let that set again overnight
Okay, so we're back on the next morning and um, I'm removing these out of the molds. Super excited to see how they turned out. And again, as I mentioned, I had overfilled my coaster molds a little bit. So you'll see there's kind of a lip there, though that I can easily um, either sand down or um, just take my utility knife and kind of carve those off. So I really like how um, these green ones turned out, the top ones. They have that kind of... Um, you know that kind of poker feel to them like on the felt tables and things like that and um here i am trying to remove some of the uh some of the that excess edge there but um again i probably should have just done it afterwards but there you go so you can see and i also really like how these poker chips have their own kind of holographic shine to them as well i think that worked really well with the style that i was um creating here so and watch me struggle as I try to unmold these. But um, yes, so the glitter ones, obviously, as you guys know, it are my absolute favorite. And um, let's wait while I remove this edge. So yeah, it's gonna, it's almost there. All right, anyways, there we go. So I really love the glitter on this piece here. And uh, I know it's not, uh, you know, probably what guys are going to enjoy, but I mean, there's female poker players too, right? And um, so anyways, but, uh, or even if it's just decoration for a game room and things like that, um, you can see, at least there's options. You can go with a flat green or you could, you know, glam them up a bit. So anyways, I hope you guys like this, um, this video and I know it was a quick one and I hope to have lots more of these quick ones for you so leave me a comment or a like and don't forget to subscribe thanks guys take care bye